Off the side road from Highway 90, in the rural town of Moss Point, Mississippi, there's an alligator rescue farm called Gulf Coast Gator Ranch. The ranch holds about 60 adult alligators on 105 acres, mostly rescued creatures. Our guide, Tim Kerr, told us where some of them come from. Or find them in a the swimming pool or in your pond and you can't get them out of your pond, places like that. A family-owned business, one can stroll along protected walkways and hand-feed gators up close and personal. The walking tour is only $8 a person. Alligators continue to grow throughout their lifetime, reaching up to a thousand pounds. They can be 11 feet long and live up to 50 years. After the walking tour, it's worth the $30 fee for the swamp tour on a high-speed airboat. You'll witness alligators, birds, and marine life in their natural habitat as you fly across the 105 acres which borders the Grand Bay Estuary in Moss Point. Finding the alligators resting in nature can take a sharp eye. They don't eat different way. If their body temperatures drop below 52 degrees, they go into what they call a dormant stage. They take the heart rates and they'll slow it down to one to three beats a minute. Wow. I call it a heck of a diet plan. Yeah. It completely <laughs> takes away their appetite where they can survive the winter. Typically they start doing it around the middle of December mm -hmm. and they won't start eating again until the end of March, beginning of April. It's a long time to go without eating a couple months, you know. Yeah. But they can survive just by slowing down their heart rate and they can do that at will anytime the year they want to. It also helps them spend long periods of time underwater. Some of your bigger gators like the 12 footers on up can actually sit on bottom and hold their breath for up to six hours. Wow. Same turn, they slow down heart rate down to one to three beats a minute and that slows down their breathing. It took about 10 days to get the water back to home. called echolocation. They have echolocation sensors that go all around their mouths and they can feel vibrations up to 150 yards away. Since the smell, they can smell food up to a mile away. At one point in our tour, we got stuck in the swamp and had to have Big Sam come rescue us. Yeah, we had a call to go rescue an airboat out there stuck with about 13 good sized fellas on there from a football team. And they got stuck in this canal about 20, 30 yards from a female protecting her nest. So we got called out there and the only way we could get the boat unstuck was I had to go under the water, pull the logs from underneath the boat so the boat can move, get moving again. Every time I come up, I look over at that female and make darn sure she wasn't coming off that nest to come after you. Because nine out of 10 times, they're gonna come after you to protect that nest. But since I think, believe, since I've been interacting with her for so many years, like four, four or five years, she knew I was no threat, so she just laid there and watched what I was doing. And we finally got the boat unstuck and got her moving again. We were thrilled with the tour and a bit sad to say goodbye.